Pets Race is here to help kids and families show their minds some love. It's time to take a breather. And welcome to Headspace Breathers. I'm Samantha, a kids and family mindfulness expert. Do you ever feel like you're just in a bad mood? I definitely do. And lately, lots of us have been feeling sad, frustrated, or lonely. But even if we're upset about something, we can still try to have a good day. So let's talk about finding positivity. It's been hard for me to stay calm because a bunch of things have happened during this month that have made me sad. It's hard to stay happy. It's because sometimes you do not get to do what you want. If it wasn't coronavirus, I wouldn't be sad as long when I'm sad. Sometimes I cry a lot of times. I've felt so many of those emotions too. Here's a trick I like to use to help me see whatever I'm feeling sad or down about a little differently. Notice when you can't see the blue sky. Sometimes when something hard happens, it's easy for our brain to get stuck in a tunnel. When you're inside a tunnel, it's dark and you can't see what's outside. When we're inside the tunnel of our thoughts, we're only thinking about how bad we're feeling over and over again. And this makes it hard to help ourselves feel better. It's helpful to remember that there's always a big blue sky outside the tunnel. When we think about the big sky, we can also think helpful thoughts about what happened. Give it a try, experts. When is the time you got upset because you didn't get what you wanted? I was like, I'm so, I'm so excited to go to the pumpkin farm, but then I wasn't able to go that day, so it was really sad. It's when I did not get to go on the monkey bars. In school, Zoom always glitches, and sometimes I can't hear my teacher, and usually I need to, of course I need to. I saw that one didn't have a box of Skittles, and it's not fair that one didn't got those Skittles. Zoom out and know what you can't control. Another helpful tool is to think about what you can control and what you can't. For example, you may feel really sad that you can't go to school in person and frustrated that you don't know when you'll go back. Practice guiding your children to think about the things that influence their mood. Help them notice when they do or don't have control over a situation. And tell them to zoom out. Zooming out to remember the big blue sky helps us to remember that something good is right around the corner and that things will get better soon. Emotion experts, can you show us how it's done? I'm gonna zoom out and look at the big picture. Very big. Sometimes I don't have control and that's hard, but it's okay. Sometimes I don't have control and that's hard, but it's okay. Sometimes I don't have control and that's hard. But it's okay. But it is okay. Sometimes I don't have control and that's hard, but it's okay. Sometimes I don't have control and that's hard, but it's okay. Make a feelings thermometer. Here's a way for you and your kids to think about making space for any emotions that might bubble up. Start by drawing a thermometer and choosing a difficult emotion, such as anger or worry. Help your child to rate the signs and symptoms of that emotion on a scale of one to 10. Tell kids to use this noticing as a tool to catch their feelings before they get too hot so they can cool themselves down and think through the next step. So what's something we think we can do when we start to notice, let's say we're at a four or five out of 10 in our anger or worry. What's something, Olivia, you would do to help yourself? I breathe. You breathe, that's great. So when we do that, we can start to notice that we're coming down, we're coming down. Another thing we can do is simply name what we're feeling so that when we're in the moment of our, of our feeling, we can say to ourselves, wow, 
I'm really feeling angry right now, or, oh, I'm at like a five in my worry. And that helps our brain to start to slow down and start to calm down. Thanks again to our emotion experts for sharing how they feel. It was great to spend time with you, and I hope this helps you and your child find bits of positivity in every day. For more mindfulness from Headspace, subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on the Headspace app.